All right. How is your second season, you know, with the team? How's it, how's it been so far? Well, obviously, you know, we've had a, a tough stretch um, of games now too, you know, with a coach turnover in the midseason, it's not always easy. A lot of players that haven't been in that situation before. Um, but I think now this season, um, it's more than important that uh, the players stick together as a group. Um, and with a big opportunity tonight, you know, I think um, it's good to maybe um, turn a corner and, uh, you know, maybe get a winning streak going. As a defender, you know, I know the record doesn't show, but you guys have been in almost every single game. Mm -hmm. What can you say about this team's defense? Um, well, we're tough. You know, we, uh, like you said, we've been in a lot of games, but unfortunately we haven't really gotten the results that we, uh, that we wanted. Um, but um, for us defenders, you know, it's, it's something that we take pride in to get clean sheets. Um, so it hurts us, you know, that we haven't been able to give the team a, uh, more wins. Um, but we're always giving 100 percent and that's all we can do right now. Keep doing the right things and then everything will fall into place. Getting back at home, you guys looking forward to that? I mean, the last couple games here, the result I know hasn't gone your way, but there's been some good efforts. Uh, you looking forward to getting back on the home turf? 100 percent. I think it's always nice to be home. The fans are always there. Uh, we get a really good support. Obviously, the last three games, I don't think it's happened a lot where you lose in overtime three times in a row. Um, but, you know, after negatives, there's always positives to come. So that's always something that we have in mind. Uh, so tomorrow is a big one for us, for sure. Who, who are you guys looking to to kind of guide you through these challenging times, the adversity that you're going through this season? Who, who's kind of stepping up for you guys to keep you moving in the right direction? Well, there's multiple guys. You know, we have a couple older guys. You know, we have Danny, who's been here for a long time. He's been here for four years. Um, Connor's been here for a while, too. Uh, and there's some other guys, you know, that faced adversity before in their career. Um, so, so those are the guys that, you know, kind of lead the group through tough times. And it brings, it brings uh, people closer together, too. You know, if you all struggle together, um, it brings a certain cohesiveness that you can take on uh, in the last part of the season right now. How do you, how do you shift your mindset, you know, to end, to end the season strong mm -hmm. with how tough of a year it's been mm -hmm. and ending the year, you know, on a good note? I think it's personal pride and professional pride in winning. You know, everyone's still playing for contracts for next year. Everyone's playing um, to showcase themselves, to showcase the team and just to play for the fans. You know, they keep showing up every game. Uh, so I think it wouldn't be fair towards anyone in this organization to just give up and throw away the last 10 games of the season or 11 games. Uh, indeed, the last time you guys played was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Definitely a different team now. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing you got to do tomorrow to get, get a win? I think we got to be compact defensively. Uh, I don't think we have to be able to um, you know, not concede when we score like what happened last game or give away cheap goals on, on, on set pieces. Um, I think that'll be a key for us because offensively, you know, we've always had firepower. We always get our chances. So I think just staying compact defensively and then uh, finishing our chances when we have them is going to be big for us.